Former President Donald Trump is expected to announce his choice for a running mate in the coming weeks. A number of names have been floated and we're learning that several potential picks are in the next stage of the process. Our Washington correspondent Julia Benbrook joins us live now from the White House with the details. And Julia, where does Donald Trump's search stand? Well, as the quest to round out the 2024 Republican ticket heats up ahead of next month's National Party convention, sources familiar with the process say that several of former President Donald Trump's potential running mates have received vetting materials. That Among them, North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum, Florida Senator Marco Rubio, and Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. Now, several others received various levels of paperwork in the vetting process and sources say that the vetting process will look different for each individual person. And some of those names include South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, New York Representative Elise Stefanik, Florida Representative Byron Donald, and former HUD Secretary Ben Carson. Now, Trump has floated a lengthy list of names in the past several months, and he's asked for opinions from allies, from donors, from members of his Mar-a-Lago club. Now, sources familiar with the discussions caution that this list is still very much in flux and they emphasize that Trump will ultimately be the one to make the final decision. And we may have to wait a little bit for that decision. He says that he plans to announce this at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee and that starts on July 15th. Now Julia, the first presidential debate is scheduled for later this month. Can we expect a vice presidential debate? Well, the short answer to that question is that we'll have to wait and see. We'll start with talking about the presidential debate. That's going to be on June 27th. President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump have agreed to meet in Atlanta for that debate hosted by CNN. And they've also agreed to a second debate hosted by ABC in September. Now, the plan for a vice presidential debate is much less clear. Vice President Kamala Harris has accepted an invitation from CBS News to participate in a debate either in July, shortly after the Republican National Convention, or in August. But after she announced that she was accepting that, Trump went to social media and said that his team accepted an invitation to debate from Fox News, and he encouraged Harris to do the same. So again, we'll have to see. Cynthia? All right, Julia, good to see you. Thank you very much. That is CNN's Julia Benbrook in Washington.